<laughs> Alright. Hey, how you guys going? This feels erotic as fuck already. <laughs> this is uh, the ASMR version of a Sex, Blood and Rock and Roll, a podcast hosted by yours truly, Avelina Tamore. I feel like we need to enter like a really loud crowd there, but that's kind of going against the ASMR regulations, isn't it? So I have to be... Wow, every noise is really accentuated. It's probably the wrong day to be wearing fucking latex. <laughs> I'm so squeaky. <laughs> For all you latex nuts out there, you're a rock. <laughs> so today's going to be fun. I'm going to be answering some questions that you guys have sent in. So just uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy my voice. <laughs> This is a new vocal microphone. It's the SM7B and um, it's turned out really great for my podcast but I bought it because uh, I'm working on an album as I've been mentioning to you guys. And yeah, this is the bad boy or bad girl <laughs> that I'm using uh, to record the album with. And it's it's been really fucking good. I'm really happy with it so far. I'm just, I'm super paranoid that it's not recording so I'm gonna turn around and make sure that it is. Oh, thank fuck. I, I can see audio files, that's good. So let me open up my phone. Sorry, it's my heels. And have a look at some of your questions. <laughs> ah. Oh, before I get started. <laughs> I'm 
also really fucking excited about my coffin ring. So I spoke about this about two episodes ago, I think. And now I've actually got the 3D mock-up of my ring, which looks fucking amazing. <laughs> it blows me away how they do it in this program and you can just spin it around and see the ring from all different angles. But it looks as good as I imagined it would. And um, I think you guys are going to freak. I've never seen anything like this done before in the world, ever. And I love doing things like that. I love knowing that I've done something that has never been done before. I fucking get off on that. I'm sure there's a word for that. <laughs> there def definitely has to be a word for that. Um, so that's coming along really well. And I'm working on some other designs as well. I'm trying to learn how to use the 3D program to actually create the rings. Because uh, currently I'm just mocking them up in Photoshop and I've realized, thanks to my music producer that I'm working with, who's terrific at this 3D stuff, that there's a much easier way to do it. Um, so when I've got some free time, that's what I'm working on. But the first ring, it's going to have a red faceted coffin stone. It's large as fuck. I think I'll put it up for pre-order fairly soon on my website. And yeah. You guys are kind of fucking freak. I'm so proud of it. It's honestly, it's probably my favorite thing that I've designed to date. So the sample is also being made for that. Yeah, my company's told me that it's a very, very in-depth process just to make one ring. There's 25 processes that the ring needs to go through. Um, that's a fucking, a fucking lot. So they've told me it'll take 25 to 30 days before I get the sample in my hands. So... One sample is for me and the other one is going to Danny Devine. And yeah, by the time we get the samples, I'm sure it will be on my website and you'll be able to see it. And I can't wait to wait the fuck out of that. <laughs> Sorry, was that too loud? I also touched base with Freya. It's Black Friday the other day. Who's just had her little baby. Congratulations, Freya, if you're watching. And we spoke about releasing our entire collection, but with the fluoro green interior. You can fucking see that I love Love, love, fluoro green. So if you head to my website now, the men's Black Friday wallet, the ladies' Black Friday wallet, and the handbag is now available for pre-order in fluoro green. It's probably... I fucking say this about every new release, but I really love green. I think it's going to be my favorite out of the entire collection. I'm pretty sure all of this stuff will be made in the one go. So the Danny Devine stuff, the Julia handbag, and the new fluoro green Black Friday stuff will be manufactured in bulk and then arrive at the same time, which realistically is probably looking at being April or May. Okay, I've got some questions on YouTube as well. And this one is from Mark. Hey Mark, how are you going? He said, how are you handling being single now? Is there anyone special in your life? <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting all shy answering this one. I'm seeing, I, I'm not seeing really anyone in particular. There is one person that I'm seeing that I really enjoy seeing, but I'm so fucking busy. Um, I wouldn't call it a relationship as such. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Keep it the fuck down. I really enjoy dating when I can, but I'm really not even sure what I'm looking for down to like gender as well. I'm super confused. Um, there have been some women that I'm interested in. There's been men. I'm obviously, I married a man. Um, don't know if I want to get married again, but yeah, right now my priority is my business and my album. If there's time in between that for <laughs> dating, um, I definitely make some time for it. But yeah, like I said, it's not high on my priorities right now. Um, these cups just gorgeous. Hmm. Stacy on YouTube asks, how are your two boys going? Oh, thank you for asking. They are beautiful. I mean, it's fucking hard. Anyone that says that being a single mom is not hard is full of fucking shit. <laughs> I'm trying to do a lot. I mean, I'm doing the podcast. I'm doing my album. I'm doing photo shoots. I'm doing my own fucking business where I design everything and then being a fucking mom as well. Fuck me. It, yeah, it's full on. Um, my little one. London has just started kindergarten. He looks <laughs> so beautiful in his school uniform, so grown up. Um, he's really opt 
optimistic and uh, uplifting in his spirit. He's such a beautiful creature. Uh, Steel, he's seven. He's in year two. He's kind of over school already. He's like, they teach me the same shit every day. He doesn't say shit, but the same stuff every day. And it's so boring. And um, London definitely seems to have my uh, enthusiasm towards school. I always enjoyed school. Until I discovered guitar. And I was like, motherfuckers, I'm out of here. <laughs> I just want to play my guitar. Speaking of which, I bought a new guitar. Let me go and get her for you. It is her. I named her Shirley. I don't know if it's just because I think um, Shirley from Garbage is really cute, but it just the name just came to me. But let me go and get it. Here she is. Show it to you some like whispered. I don't know, does this go against like SMR regulations? Am I not allowed to play? So um I'm gonna play you acoustic a little a little riff that's gonna be the intro of uh, my first single which is called Cruel. Just imagine it. Amplified and heavy as fuck. producer has definitely pushed me into my strengths and my strengths are heavier music my strength is guitar over piano and it's the same it matches my voice my voice is uh naturally gritty and bluesy and uh, hearing it alongside electric guitar sounds fucking awesome um I wasn't getting the same effect when we did softer songs so I was kind of 
massively, I still am, um, perplexed as to what the fuck I was doing because I'm such a prolific songwriter. I've realized now that I'm writing songs that might be for other artists, um, not necessarily for me to perform. So yeah, the end goal is to, to work towards getting signed as just a songwriter and then doing the heavier songs as the artist of Alina Damore. So at the moment, I'm just working on my own songs because it's about fucking time that I get an album out. Um, but yeah, to throw some names at you, um, the other day someone said the guitar playing resembles Tony Iommi from Black Sabbath. I'm getting a lot of like the female Jack White, which is fucking cool. Um, I think as soon as you do like poppy kind of rock stuff, people are going to, you know, throw Joan Jett in there um, just as a huge iconic guitar, female guitar reference, which is fucking cool. Um, I can't really say like it, it sounds too much like anyone else. It's pretty fucking damn original. It's heavy. It's heavier than I first envisioned it. Um, but I'm happy with that because when, when I look at myself outside of myself, I'm like, you are a fucking gothic queen. What the fuck are you doing writing pop music? It makes no sense. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited to, to step into that, that darker aesthetic. It wasn't really a step. It's like, just be yourself. <laughs> Shh, sorry. I have to giggle quietly. It's really fucking hard. I listen to a lot of type of negative and I think that's coming out in the guitarist that I'm coming up with. And I know Peter Steele was like massively influenced by Black Sabbath. So I'm not surprised that there's a connection coming out there. Um, but yeah, I listened to a lot of a lot of rock music growing up. I was into Silverchair was like still one of my absolute favourite Australian um, rock bands. But I loved Incubus and Limp Biscuit and Corn and Marilyn Manson and Nine Inch Nails. Um, Tool, I still love Tool. Their new album is amazing. It's gonna be heavy, but I think as soon as there's a female vocal, there's always that that poppier lighter element to it um i don't scream so it's not in the vein of arch enemy or anything like that and she's fucking Alyssa is amazing she, i love the outfits that she wears on stage as well she's just fucking in a league of her own yeah she's she's an amazing woman i'm actually trying to learn how to scream i've never really been able to do that without fucking up my voice but hopefully it's something i will get in the future but the the current music that i'm doing hasn't uh hasn't needed that so yeah, I went on a little bit of a tangent there, but I hope that explains uh, where I'm going musically. I can't wait for the first song to drop. We've got the second and third one planned as well. So there'll be video clips coming out and a fully blown album, which I'm excited about. I'm excited to get to the point where I can actually fucking release something and, you know, really present myself to the world as the musician that I fucking am. I kind of forgot for a little while how much uh, music feeds my fucking soul. Without it, I'm fucking dead yeah <laughs> i just also wanted to say a big thank you to you guys for watching this podcast um it's been a lot of fun making it i'm really enjoying this asmr one how cool is this fucking like boom mic arm thingy yeah i'm still paranoid that it's not actually filming ah! <laughs> channel 